Hello all. So in this video, we will see how we can um, update bulkly uh, using uh, Postman REST API. Uh, so in in this uh, video, we will see uh, like how to update uh, records and how to create records using uh, CSV file by uploading this CSV file into Postman. So normally, uh, so we we will have uh, uh, the URL and uh, endpoint like this, right? So we will place uh, the URL and then we will pass each record uh, in the body or <clears throat> right in the body and then uh, in the URL. So we will pass this each and like each value and then we will hit uh, send so that that particular record will be updated. So what if we have uh, like some thousands of records or uh, hundreds of records so then uh, we can so if we have all that information like uh, for this environment for this object for this record number so update uh, some uh, values this can be uh, the payload can can also be dynamic and username all of that can be dynamic so we can uh, we can construct like that uh, using uh, postman so first of all uh, we need to uh, prepare a uh, data file okay so uh, then we need to construct a url so first i'll uh, i'll go to the csv file okay so here you can see uh, the url and then the object i am going to uh, update and then username so in this example password i am giving manually but password can also be uh, you can also pass dynamically and then record name uh, for creation of a record id is not required but for update id is required uh, and then the other fields so whatever i am passing the fields here this no need to be exactly same as the api name this can be uh, anything but it, it, the same name should be used in the uh, payload or wherever you we are using uh, in the uh, postman okay suppose uh, i'm using like this uh, i'm passing all of the uh, values like this and i'm giving dynamically what for what for which record uh, what is the value uh, I need to pass. So if the values, if the value is different by record, so we can change the value for that particular record. So this is like an import file only. So we, we will be using this CSV file and this format should be CSV only. So we should save this record as a CSV. And once we prepare all of this data, right? So now I'm going to postman. Uh, so here I have uh, used two uh, scenarios. One is post method and for creating new records and another one is updating uh, few records. So first we'll go with the post to create records. If you see here, uh, so I, I used URL variable. So where in the file I defined URL url as a one column and in that column i specified the url to update so these values or variables will be uh, inserted for each record so for each record it will fetch and it will for that uh, row and it will update here dynamically and uh, for creation um, and i'm going to use object also dynamically and that is uh, the object that i'm going to create is also specified in the file and also you can notice uh, the username is also uh, make so i'm passing this passing it as dynamically and password i'm just hard coded uh, but this can also be uh, like make it dynamically and then uh, body in the body also so i can use uh, this so using this symbol flower bracket to flower bracket open and then variable name this is the 
name of the uh, column column name in the excel sheet or input file so the column name of that uh, 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 of, of that uh, record uh, name or something. So if it is a record name, record name. So whatever I put in Excel file, so Excel or CSV file, uh, so that that need to be inserted here. So once we construct everything, uh, first we need to create it as a collection. So for collection, right? So you can create using this collection. So just create a new collection and uh, and you can rename or uh, you can do anything. So rename and uh, do everything. And then uh, in this collection, you can add a request. So it can be a get or post or whatever. And after, after giving all these details, just save it. So once you save it, so it will be like this. So you can give a collection name. So after, after this uh, step, so you need to construct this URL and the payload everything like this. And once it is uh, saved, so then you can click on the collection more actions. And then click on run collection. So now it will ask uh, which, uh, which action should be executed. So for now I have uh, in this collection, I have two actions. So one is post and one, one more is patch. So patch is not required as of now. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm uh, deselecting it. So we can also reorder. So which action should be executed first or, or which uh, which one should be executed later. So if it is a dependent action, so we can uh, perform, we can reorder and then we can uh, run it. Okay, so for now I'm selecting only post. And then, uh, so here we have option to select the file in under data. Okay, so then go to, uh, with go, go to uh, the files and then uh, click uh, select the file so i just selected the file which i showed earlier and it has total uh, number of records 10 and it will show this in the advanced uh, in the advanced property settings, you can see save responses and a uh, few other options for cookies. Uh, these are all not required, but uh, if you want to track uh, the save responses, means um, once once the record is executed, so you uh, you can see the details for that record. So for that, you can choose save responses. So after that, just click on. Uh, run this particular collection so i'm uh, and in the environment we can see now we have uh, five six records so and few more uh, are adding uh, as new records those are uh, 10 records so i'm going to uh, run this particular So uh, we need to pass this variable in double quotes so that it it will uh, accept as a string. So that's why we are we got error and we corrected this. And then uh, now we will save and then we'll run again, run collection and then unselect this patch request. Select the file. And now uh, click. Uh, run collection. So now we can see here. Um, so it's created 201 created 201 created. So it means the records are getting created. So all of this are ticking dynamically. So, uh, so if we want to track, so we can, um, 
we can check this uh, request url so what what url is passing here and what request headers are passing and request body re response headers response body all of that we can uh, check here by just clicking on the request okay so here i am not showing but uh, just click on this url and then you can see what of what all parameters we need so this is create um, this is for creation of a record so similarly uh, for patch so here also we will correct uh, the uh, parameters and then we'll use double quotes So now these records created, but we need uh, these IDs, right? So for that, uh, what we will do is we'll go to the uh, report and then we'll just fetch the IDs uh, for the respective names. So these are the IDs. just using these ids to update uh, with these values while creating i just pass that record name i didn't pass uh, i didn't pass this budget and accommodations event type in the uh, payload so in the file i mentioned but uh, in the in the payload right so i haven't used these fields but in um, update uh, file I'll be using uh, these four values. So for that, uh, so we need to pass ID, right? So after slash object, so I am passing the ID, and then in the in the same way in the uh, payload also I am passing uh, the values. Okay, so now I corrected um, and then now this is update, right? So just click on run collection again and then now deselect post since we are uh, updating records and then select the files and if you want save response uh, and then now click on collection. So this is an update action. Now you can see uh, 200 okay, which is success. So 201 is for create, 200 is okay uh, for successful request. So all of that, uh, all of the uh, requests are completed. So, and updated successfully. So this is how we can update uh, the records in Postman using CSV file.